Ay caramba! Good morning, traveling friends. How are you all this morning? It's a beautiful sunny day out here in Florida. Look at the spot. <laughs> uh, so rear drum fixed. Absolutely no oil on the ground overnight from the generator. Awesome fixed. Thank you so much, RV Prepper Wayne, again, getting me back on the road. And uh, today, we're going to change things up a little bit. I'm saying goodbye to Florida. Not permanent, very probably temporary. I mean, anything could change. You guys know I make plans that get changed all the time. But we're going to head north for a little cooler temperatures for a few weeks here. And uh, I'm going to leave the state of Florida today because we're right up there by the panhandle anyway. It's not going to be too much to get into Alabama this afternoon. But you want to have some fun? We're going to go explore new territories. That's really what I'm just craving is something new for a little bit. So goodbye, Florida and Panama City. I love these one lane state routes through small towns. It's really fun to see. This is the town of Wasau, and the sign back there said this is the possum capital of the world. Possum. Now I'm just saying I feel like there's better things to be well known for in a town than possums, but you gotta be proud of your heritage, right? Oh my gosh, they erected a monument for the possums. Look at these guys. Erected in grateful recognition of the role of the North American possum, a magnificent survivor of the marsupial family predating the ages of the mastodon and the dinosaur. All right, well, I didn't know that possums were that old as far as animals. That's pretty cool. And apparently this city right here is home to the largest population of possums in the world. Okay, good to know. I hate those little bastards, though. Okay, what is this strange place? Look at all this cotton. Big, huge cotton field. Just before we get into Alabama. I mean, there's a lot of t-shirts worth of cotton in this field right there. Wow. I don't know why, but I've never seen a field that big on my travels of cotton. So just to give you an idea here, I'm going straight north right now. And uh, this interchange, this overpass that I'm going underneath right now. This is Interstate 10 right here. So Pensacola that way, Tallahassee that way, or from Florida to California, I-10 right there. And uh, we're gonna go past it right now and head on into Alabama. Those possums back in Wasau, they must uh, have no problem reproducing because uh, by the look of all the dead carcasses on the road, it looks like their population is, would be diminishing quite a bit. Probably not. They're rodents after all. Rest area, Alabama Welcome Center, one mile. Sweet home, Alabama. There's our official sign, Welcome to Alabama the Beautiful. And 2.15 a gallon. So significantly down from 2.49 in, in Florida. Check out this helicopter suspended up in the air. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Is that a casita? I believe, yes, that's a casita fiberglass. What? See, this is that part of travel I'm always telling you about that's exciting for me, because it's just the unknown, and I have nowhere to get to by the end of the day. I have nowhere, I've, I haven't made any promises or arrangements, I haven't booked anything, I am just traveling and keeping my eyes peeled and having fun with it. That's like, it's just, it's that laid back travel feel and it's, it's really peaceful and I'm in my groove when I'm just moving around and smiling. Okay, so I just got some useful information about this area of Alabama, basically Dothan, which is a little north of here. But within 100 miles of Dothan, Alabama, this area is known as the peanut capital of the world. And I think that's a much cooler thing to be known for than possums, in my opinion. Yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, head up to Dothan and see what else we can find. Land of peanuts. Mmm. I get this, everybody. <laughs> Dothan, Alabama is home to the national 
Peanut Festival. That's right. Happening right now, right here in November. Let's go check it out. So because of this crazy peanut festival, and I still can't believe there's a nationally recognized festival for peanuts here in Dothan, Alabama, but because of that, every RV park's booked. I thought about spending the night here. Maybe I can camp over at the Walmart later, but uh, I'll go check it out. So it's uh, seven bucks to get in. I think it's open for a couple more days here in November. Look at this guy holding this peanut. That's how proud they are of their peanuts here. Maybe that's one of those words I should enunciate very carefully. He is holding his peanut. Peanut. I want to clarify that. Anybody watch the uh, NBC local news here uh, about four days ago? I was probably on the news because I walked by when they were doing their live broadcast there. It says welcome. So it looks like there's a ton of vendors here. Probably nothing RV related, but it's still fun and it's cool. They might have some good food or something. If I could explain to you the smells of all the foods and everything, it does smell good. Okay, this is really interesting. Aja and Carolyn and Terry and y'all, if you're watching this video right now, I know you guys were just in Northern California and last time I was there, actually, this was in California. Yes, the log house was right there where you guys went past. I guess you guys won't be filming it this year because it's over here in Alabama. That's right. Right there from the California Redwoods. Huh. And I actually bought a ticket and toured the inside of this as well. That is really weird that it made it all the way across the country and I'm here. That's just funny. Oh, the General Lee. Look at this sweet car, everybody. That's right. The 01 General Lee. Whew, that is a sweet looking car. They got shaved ice and coffee and peanuts. They got a cattle barn. Maybe I'll have some steak for dinner or hamburg. Oh, hey guys, sorry, did you hear that? Sorry. They actually name these cows before they turn them into McDoubles. Huh. Look at this guy with the royal treatment. He's got a fan, a lucky cow. Look at all these fake palm trees. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta have one and you can't grow one. Every kid's had a pony ride, but have you had a camel ride? That's right, camel rides right here. And we got chainsaw carving in action going on right now. Now in case you're curious, it's 88 degrees here, still in November. This is so strange for me. I've never been in my life, been in a place when November was still this warm. It's very strange to be over in the Southeast this late in the year. They are boiling some peanuts here. Might have to grab some. I can honestly say I have never had a boiled peanut before. I don't know. Oh, they're warm and soft. Whoa, weird. That's actually really tasty. Well. I went with the grass-fed burger here. I'm hungry. Mm. Never know what you're gonna find on the road. I mean, I hadn't planned on stopping and staying, but now I kind of want to overnight in Dothan. I can do that. You thought I was joking with that cow in the barn. I'm probably eating his brother. So you want to be mobile and wondering what you could possibly do to make money? Look at this, the Bling Bling Blessing Mobile Boutique. Just travel around the country and sell what you're making. Yeah, a lot of people do that. He's nuts. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, it's cool that I just happened to roll through while they were still doing this. It's, it does look like they're starting to pack away though, but still, it's cool. So actually, uh, I just two miles away from the festival is a Walmart that is friendly to overnight parking. So to gather a little more sun here, I've uh, tilted the panels. And uh, I'm gonna overnight park here, and actually I got uh, stamped. So I'm actually going to scoot over to the festival tonight. So this way I can actually hang out with Jax and keep the RV cool. And uh, there's some evening shows and stuff going on, so I'll scoot over to the festival, RV will be safe here. And then uh, we'll get a fresh start in the morning uh, from this Walmart, basically, as we head north. So, uh, yeah. Although I'm gonna cut this video short, I got one of my box fans running, one of mine just quit working randomly. So we had the heater that go out on me last video and now one of my two box fans went out. 
Luckily, I was at a Walmart, so I went right over and got this one. It's actually an oscillating fan, and uh, I mean, I'm doing my best here, but still, as you can see, we are pushing 88 degrees inside the RV. Actually, just makes me feel a little uncomfortable, believe it or not. Um, you know, I feel safe leaving the RV, all locked up and secured with all the windows open and the fans going, but poor Jax, he's doing this again, the stuff he used to do in the summertime, just laying on the linoleum floor in the bathroom. So, I mean, I'm not a weenie or anything. It's just, it's just, it's just so hot still in November. My poor kitty cat. So, fire up the generator, get some AC going, close up all the windows for a few hours and uh, keep it nice and cool in here. So guys, have a good night. Uh, we will, let me think, make sure, yes. Next video, we'll be leaving Alabama. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye. I can honestly say I have never had a boiled peanut before.